Welcome back to the kitchen foodies. On the menu today I have teriyaki shrimp paired with broccoli, of course, Roma's kitchen style. I'm gonna season my shrimp here, my dried and clean shrimp right away and add it to the pot because this is just something quick and easy for work so i add in a little all-purpose seasoning about a tablespoon next about a half teaspoon of paprika then some black pepper you can season this according to your liking you could just add some seafood seasoning and that's fine i'm just making something super simple really really quick for work so in my pot here, my wok, I'm going to add some olive oil. You don't, need, you don't need this to be too oily, so less than, less than a tablespoon of olive oil will be perfect. Next, I'm going in with about a tablespoon of minced garlic and ginger. And here, I'm just going to move this around in the oil, get it nice and sautéed, but ensure that your pot at this point is over low heat because you do not want to burn the garlic and the ginger next i'm going to add in the shrimp i had let the shrimp sit for about five five to ten minutes that that that's enough time now i'm just going to move the shrimp around in the pot just a little bit not too long because you do not want to overcook your shrimp about four minutes and that will be enough because you're going to put these back in the sauce at some point. If you are looking for other great shrimp recipes, that will be linked here in the video. And also in the description box, I have tons of shrimp recipes right here on Roma's Kitchen. So once I'm through this, I'm going to remove it from the wok. Then I'm going to go back in the same pot with some olive oil. No need to rinse your pot or change your pot. The flavor is in the pot. I'm adding a little olive oil now and going back in with, with the ginger and the garlic over low heat, of course. Make sure you get everything out. Then I'm going to add in the broccoli. I have chopped my broccoli into pieces and I have also washed them. So you just want to kind of saute the broccoli a little bit. Then I'm going to add the sauce, the mixture for the sauce in the pot with the broccoli. Cook the broccoli just a little bit probably one to two minutes in the sauce remove it but let's go so this part is basically finished the broccoli nice and sauteed but they're not cooked as yet so i'm going to go in now with the liquids to make the sauce the first thing i'm going to add in is a half cup of soy sauce and remember soy sauce is salty so you do not want to add too much soy sauce. Once the soy sauce is in, I'm just going to move everything around because, you know, I don't want anything to burn. But this is definitely over low heat. The next thing I'm going to add in is a quarter cup of water. Mix everything around. And if you have homemade teriyaki sauce, all you need to do at this point is put it in the pot once you have sauteed the broccoli and the garlic and ginger, then you put your shrimp in. But we're doing this from scratch, okay, because we don't have teriyaki sauce. Alright, so the water is in, the soy sauce is in. Next, th next thing, I'm going to add two tablespoons of brown sugar to some water and then I'm going to add it to the mixture teriyaki sauce is actually sweet 
but this wasn't too sweet so you can reduce the amount of sugar that you add in but for me this was fine so I'm adding that all in well I've added most of it I'm leaving a little because I want to dissolve the cornstarch in that to add it to the sauce to get the sauce nice and thick If you've made it this far in the video guys, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel and turn your post notifications on so that you won't be left out when I post other great content such as these. So I'm going in with a tablespoon of honey first. And remember the good thing about this is you're making it from scratch at home so if you do not like your sauce or you wouldn't like your sauce too sweet then you can cut down the amount of honey or the amount of brown sugar that you add to your sauce right so here I'm just mixing everything together my broccoli is still not cooked I do not want my broccoli to be soft so I'm just kind of blanching them a little here. So this starts to bubble so I'm adding that cornstarch in the sugar and water mixture to dissolve it. Then I'm going to add that back to the pot in my sauce. Because I didn't add too much cornstarch, this will take a little while to get thick and I do not want to overcook my broccoli. So I am taking them out now and I'm going to allow this to get a little bit thick before I add back the broccoli and the shrimp. So at this point you can taste your sauce and adjust it according to your liking. Mine was really okay for me it was just quite fine so I see this bubbling like this so now it's getting nice and thick so I'm just going to turn the stove all the way down then I'm going to add back my broccoli and my shrimp broccoli in first my stove is at its lowest point here adding in the shrimp Then I'm just going to mix everything together in that in that nice thickened sauce, the teriyaki sauce. And this is a really simple teriyaki sauce. You might see other teriyaki sauces with other ingredients, but this is just something really simple for me to bring to work because I didn't want plain shrimp bread. So move everything around for one minute tops. Then for me, you know, for a little something something, I'm going to add some sesame seeds. Just sprinkle some sesame seeds right on top. And then that'll be it. So here you have it, ladies and gents. Teriyaki shrimp paired with broccoli. Roma's kitchen style. My lunch is ready for today. It is looking really good in the pot and it tasted amazing. It was so good, super simple lunch idea. Of course, if you like the video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel, turn your post notifications on, visit my website at romaskitchen.net for this and other great recipes. Thank you so much for watching. Until next video.